Welcome back to the channel. Today we are converting my intake system to the CSL carbon fiber intake system you guys saw in the last video. Yeah, the first steps are going to be taking apart the whole engine bay and then taking out the ECU and the DME. So we're going to do a series of different types of videos for this whole project. Maintenance that you should do while the whole intake system is out, which is going to make your life a lot easier. And then uh, what we need to do with the full conversion meaning the parts that are needed and the ECU and uh, TCU tunes that are uh, required as well. So yeah, first steps are going to be taking out the ECU and the TCU now so we can have it sent off to a shop to have the actual ECU converted to a CSL one. Yeah, enough talking, let's get to it. Okay, so first step is going to be removing this battery and disconnecting it from the car. I'm going to wrap it in microfiber towel and put it down here. This way the battery cannot reconnect itself. And that's the first step because we're going to be messing with the electronics on the car. Okay, so now we're taking apart this box right here which houses the ECU and the TCU. And we're going to take off all these screws. lid is removed we have to remove these two modules this one and that one and once we have that removed we can send it off to the performance shop to get the ECUs modified for uh, and converted to the CSL ones and then we can continue the install Actually, I'm going to do this one too. Alright, so yeah, um, pulling it out was kind of hard. So we kind of made a tool to like hook onto these two hooks right here. And then it makes it much easier to pull out. All right, so this is the ECU. And then we're going to pull out the TCU. We're going to send it off to the shop to get recoded and converted. We're going to unplug this one right for now. This connector right here. Move it out of the way. And then same thing, two taps, and then you pull it out. All right. There we go. So this is the TCU. We're going to be... Uh, modifying a uh, new software on this and then the car will have full CSL software to fit the new intake. Next step is going to be pumping out the fluids in the reservoir.
Okay, so some things we have to watch out when we're trying to take out um, the plenum now that everything's disassembled is unhooking this weather stripped wire from the back of the plenum right here. And then there's uh, the positive terminal that goes all the way to the other side. It is hooked up to the uh, side of the plenum, which re you remove by uh, pushing down on this tab right here and then pulling it out. So that's all you have to do to remove that off of the plenum. Okay, so the next step was uh, after we pumped out all the fluids from the SMG reservoir was disconnecting the hose that leads to the SMG reservoir, which is kind of hard to show, but it's this one right here with the um, white or off-white or yellowish connector. Um, you pull on the connector towards the bottom and it will disconnect from the SMG reservoir. So now that we did that, we're going to be pulling out the intake plenum. making sure that everything's disconnected all right perfect okay so now we're done disassembling the whole engine bay to remove the intake plenum and the intake and everything prepping it for the CSL intake conversion in the next videos that I'm dropping in a few days it's gonna be doing some maintenance work on the throttle bodies and the throttle position sensors so those are the next videos coming up and then we're doing the full conversion into the uh, CSL intake with the new ECUs. Yeah, thank you for checking out today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Helps the channel a lot and see you in the next one.